Okay, today I will show you how uh, how to defeat battle, kill mobs, and occasionally tame some of the passive ones. First mob I'm going to show you is. The humble zombie, probably the first one you've, uh, you'll ever see. Which catches fire in daylight. Surprise, surprise. Ta-da. So you'll have to put him in some shade. Like this. Next is the explosive creeper. Right guys? Yeah, you look pretty passive right now, but I'm creative. These guys will have blown me to pieces, and one of these guys will have blown me to pieces by now in survival mode. Then, of course, there's another one, the basic mobs, skeleton. Also brings up in daylight, but now it's night time, so he wouldn't. Shoots arrows. And spiders. Turns passive in the daytime. Hostile at night, can climb walls, jump high. But the fact that it's two times two, two means it can't fit through one block high one block wide gaps. Slime, found only in the swamp biomes. Jumpy, when one of them is killed, split into smaller slimes, like these. The witch is a mob whose fighting technique is unique. She, the witch, she throws potions at you, drinks them herself too. For example, she uh, she uh, can throw uh, splash potions of poison at you, and then drink potions of healing for herself. So one mob that doesn't do anything, the bat. Also, the only passive mob that doesn't attack you, that spawns underground, and can fly. They are found in caves, as you might expect, and don't drop anything, not even XP. So, killing them is just me. Bye, guys! <laughs> Alright, next is the pig, cousin of the creeper. Because when Notch made the creeper, it was actually a default, it was actually a wrong, a, a wrong pig model. So uh, these guys can be ridden by saddles, but uh, but if you uh, but if you don't use a carrot on a stick, you can't steer them. They can drop uh, they drop meat, pork when killed, and if they're killed with fire, they drop pork chops, cooked pork chops, sheep. Don't drop any meat, but can be killed for wool. Now let me go get a sword so I can show you. Actually, I'll do, uh, you, you'll pro you know, probably know what killing sheep looks like by now. But ever witness somebody shear a sheep? You'll be rewarded by your, a good deed of shearing a sheep instead of killing it by extra wool blocks, usually. You can get one to two. See there, I got two. If you kill them, only get one. And they're dead. There are other mobs, so I'm gonna go into my inventory here and show you. All right. Let's start with the cow most useful of them because he drops leather only thing besides horses that drops leather 
I'm gonna drop a whole lot of meat. Next, there's the chicken, whose monster spawner looks nothing like him. Lays eggs every five to ten minutes. Drops feathers, chicken meat. They have feathers, chicken meat, and possibly eggs when killed. The squid, who dies on land. So, here I'll go get some water. They don't attack you, and they drop ink sacks. And, as you can see, they like the water a lot better than the land. Then here is the Enderman here, who, uh, who, for, uh, who for me, uh, it teleported here all on his own, so I didn't have to get his monster spawner. As you can see, like he just did, he picked up. Uh, they can pick up certain blocks, and the fact that they can pick up snow and pumpkin blocks makes it so they could make a snow golem. And you, uh, they're passive. Until you look into their eyes, then they go berserk and try to kill you. They can teleport also and drop. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. And they drop one of the rarest things an eye, not an eye of ender, a ender pearl, which can, which is you uh, which is used to make an eye of ender essential for finding a stronghold. Next there's the wolf who can be tamed using bones. Like so. Come back here. I want to tame you. You might need a few bones to do it though. He'll start sitting down when he's tamed. Hearts will come off of him. He'll have a red collar. You can also dye it though. And he'll attack anything that you attack as long as he's standing up. Like, let's say, let's get a non dangerous small gun. There. And then he goes after any mob you attack. All, but, you have to be careful with wolves. Because. If you attack one, the whole pack becomes angry and starts attacking you. Or whoever. The weirdest looking creature in the universe. The mushroom. Cow plus mushroom biome equals mushroom. You can shear them to get five uh, uh, to get five mushrooms. Plus you can uh, and plus you can melt them for mushroom stew using a bowl. Also, they will drop the same things as a cow and kill them. Then there is the ocelot, the other, another tameable animal, but probably the hardest to tame. You'll need you'll need some raw fish, so just spawn a bunch of them, and then wait with some raw fish, and. They'll sneak up on you, slowly turn to them, and click on them with raw fish, and eventually they'll turn into a, a cute little cat who doesn't attack, but he will scare away creepers. Big explosive wonders will just run away at the sight of a gigantic feline pouncing at them. Actually, really, no, they don't. Uh, the felines don't even do anything. 
Next, we've got the last of three tameable mobs, the horse. It doesn't need anything to tame him, but it will. It, it does help if you've got apples, or really any other food will work. There you go. Tame a horse. Right click on him. Then eventually he'll buck you off. Usually. Then keep doing that until hearts appear. To speed up the process, you can feed them apples. Or really anything. And it will have a better chance of him being tamed. When he's tamed, hearts will appear. Not that time. Let's keep going. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, there, he was just tamed. Now, you can see he's got an inventory in here. And I press left shift to dismount him. Now I'm going to get a saddle. There it is. And now I can click on him, show me my, his inventory. And I can put a saddle on. Then when I get on him again, I can control him. You can't control an unsaddled horse. Horses will automatically go up any one block incline, but you'll have to jump for anything else. The jump has a charge. You can see instead of XP. We'll have a jump charge bar. That's the horse. And the last of the mobs. The villagers. As you can see, there's many different colored robes. Robed villagers. Also, the in some that don't have robes, just like clothes on them. There are the brown robed farmers, white robed li librarians, there's the butchers, which have these white aprons, the priests, there with the purple guys. Um, there's also blacksmith, which has a black apron, if I can get one here. There, that's blacksmith. They can be found wandering around villages, and they can trade with you for emeralds, depending on their profession. So, trade with one. Right click. I can do it here. Oh, clicking on with the villager spawn. There. Then his trade thing will pop up. Then you need to put in here whatever he wants, and then he'll give you whatever's over here. Baby villagers don't trade, they just run around. Um, let me see if I can find something. Okay, so, here, like here I could trade some emerald for glowstone. Like that. Also, there's the two makeable mobs. Here. First of all, there's the iron golem. Actually, actually, there are three makeable mobs. But first of all, there's the iron golem, which attacks any monsters in sight. Make him by putting iron in this formation. And then you need 
a pumpkin head, strangely enough, on top. Like the oh. back. <laughs> okay, so iron blocks in a T. And then pumpkin head on top. Make the iron golem. He attacks you if you attack a villager. He, they can be found naturally in villages. You can make them with iron blocks like I just showed you. And why don't I demonstrate what happens when you see a monster? They kill the poor thing. Of course, there always has to be a nice frosty the snowman. So, you can also get snow bones with snow blocks instead of iron. By going like two blocks up and then hit on top. As you can see, they burn up in deserts. They can drop, or they drop stuff, when they drop snowballs when they die, but to prevent them from burning up, you'll probably want to put them outside of the desert, like this. As you can see, they put snow wherever they walk. And they also attack monsters with snowballs that don't deal any damage. So the it, so the monsters basically kill them unless you've got them protected because snowballs don't deal any damage except to blazes or ender dragon. Then there's the last buildable mob. The Wither, he's not considered an overworld or nether or end mob, although you do need to go to the end to build him, to get the resources to build them. Yeah. Like I said, you need to go to the nether to get the resources to build him. Wither skeleton skulls and soul sand in T shape like this and then we need that move it cat move it everybody out out it'll explode no And then he'll start attacking any non and now an undead mob, even if it's a monster. Like that. And he'll fly around killing everybody. He is the second boss mob. Could be considered the nether boss. Hey wither. He's immune to damage when he's glowing blue, like he is when you first make him. Here, I'll show you. So, when you first make him, I'm doing him right now. He'll start regaining health up on his health bar and glows blue. He's not he's immune to damage right now, so don't waste your sword hits. Then he'll explode and kill everything within sight. Including my wolf there. And then wherever he went, there he is. He'll just float up. Oh no, watch out, horse! 
that's going to be the end of the video. If you want to see the Nether Mob video, I'll probably be making that tomorrow. This was the Overworld and Wither Boss mo uh, uh, Mob video. I hope you enjoyed it.